This report is based on Amazing Polly's recent video, Is This Torture? In her video, Polly examines Amnesty International's 1973 report on torture and how it seems to reflect the current response to COVID-19. According to Amnesty International's report, torture is the systematic and deliberate infliction of acute pain in any form by one person on another in order to accomplish the purpose of the former against the will of the latter. The report then uses Biederman's chart of coercion to describe the technique. Psychologist Albert Biederman studied communist Chinese tactics known as DDD, debility, dependency, and dread. The CIA has been trained to use debility, dependency, and dread. And according to their 1983 Human Resource Exploitation Training Manual, Many psychologists consider the threat of inducing debility to be more effective than debility itself. With DDD, the debilitated victim becomes dependent upon the torturer and develops a strong fear of anything vague or unknown. Biederman's chart of coercion lays out the design of DDD. Does any of this sound familiar? Number one, isolation. We see this with quarantines and social distancing and the prohibition of crowds and large gatherings. Number two, monopolization of perception. Corporate mainstream media has monopolized all of pop culture and those on social media who challenge the mainstream narrative are censored. Also listed is restricted movement and monotonous food. Number three, induced debilitation and exhaustion. Gym closures, church closures, losing your job, school closings, and wearing masks all day long increase stress and provokes exhaustion and debilitation. Number four, threats. We are threatened that our own children may be taken away from our homes and that experimental forced vaccines are coming. We are told that more will die if we restart America. And we are threatened with tracking chips, contact tracing, and a new normal. Number five, occasional indulgences. Here we find fluctuations of interrogators' attitudes, such as BLM protests are good, Trump rallies are bad. Walmart is okay, but small businesses are not. The torturer will provide occasional indulgences such as rewards for partial compliance. If you just wear a mask, someday we can return to normal. Number six, demonstrating omnipotence and omniscience. Shutting down the entire global economy was a pretty good demonstration of omnipotence. Huge fines and jail for people not wearing a mask. We see the omniscience with Anthony Fauci, Bill Gates, and other official experts. Number seven is degradation, being called non-essential or a science denier, being treated as ignorant fools and called names by celebrities for not complying. Number eight, enforcing trivial demands. This final step develops habits of compliance enforcement of minute rules such as standing six feet apart following arrows and showing support for violent blm protests also according to the report on torture many victims become ill as a result of coercion and more than half the illnesses listed in the report can be easily diagnosed as covid 19 according to cdc guidelines do you really think that this is all a coincidence? Or are the people of the world being subjected to an advanced form of torture, coercion, and mind control? For InfoWars.com, this is Greg Reese.